one, most people. One thing that, that you mentioned, like um, Randy Couture, for example, to me, and I wanted to correct me if I'm wrong on that. To me, he was one of the best guys in the UFC that knows how to use the cage. When he put people in the cage, I see yeah. him burn them out yeah. until they can no longer continue the second round. Their hands drop. They're so yeah. burned out. He used his wrestling really well. And he there's in Greco-Roman, there's a uh, thing. They do these grind matches, they call them, for like one hour, where they just keep pulling and keep coming. He, for one hour. It's, we can wrestle for an hour. That's just crazy. And freestyle, it's like it's very quick. It's very... Because labor yeah, defense, <laughs> like yeah, a lot of guys on the, on so, the against the cage. He yeah. was just little shots and stuff, just controlling guys against the cage. And most people, like it was no, most people now they do, but no, most people never trained up against the cage. Now they everybody's training in almost every situation. Yeah. Now, you, in order to just go in there, you need like at least a purple belt and something. You have to have some knowledge or be able not to be taken down. <laughs> yeah. You know, and have such good enough footwork, but. Yeah, the wrestling's ever it's like Couture, like he was a guy that the the, the, the the he got fired from his job as a wrestling coach at Oregon State University because the guy said, Listen, we don't want you doing this stuff. It's like this is bad for our, our image is bad. And I thought to myself from the beginning, this is the best thing that ever happened to wrestling. There's gonna be more kids that are gonna come out to wrestle. There's gonna be there was more kid guys now that say, Well, I wrestle in high school, I wrestle because before they said because most people have a bad connotation for that, wrestling. It was it's so like, common in yeah. jiu-jitsu schools, everyone that came to sign up, I remember at the beginning, they said, No, I did wrestling in high school. Anybody who ever wrestled? Would love to do to just like love it. And it's like, it's, 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 until it's, today, it's, it's a, a lot of guys that come and say, "No, yeah. I have. Uh, do you have any background in martial art? Oh, I wrestled in high yeah. school. Great, come on. All in. of them. Yeah, well, I always yeah. tell them when they come in, I, they'll say I wrestle, and I go, "Well, you're halfway there. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's it. Now you're, so. you're gonna, I tell them you can do all the stuff that you couldn't do in wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like all the stuff that Dave Schultz would always be upset. Why are they stopping the match? Well, you know, you can't do I that. Saw, <laughs> I, <laughs> you know, it's like, I yeah. saw a couple <laughs> yeah. videos of wrestling that one of the kids, I don't know how they call the technique in jiu-jitsu, just went on his back to grab the guy's leg. Spin, he throw himself on. Yeah, yeah, like to, to the MNR roll. Almost do, almost do a roll foot lock. Yeah. yeah. And when that guy, he grabbed the guy in foot lock, he raised the guy leg and put the guy on his back. Yeah. But the beginning wasn't a conventional yeah, holding yeah, the yeah. neck or going no. yeah, yeah. He just throw himself, he spin on the knee, face on the leg. I'm telling you, it's like I told, um, you know, I talked to a lot of people, but I, and I said, like, now it's the jujitsu, the, there's a lot of kids that are wrestling. To, it's great for jujitsu, especially for this funk style that they have that they try to do. For any type of mat wrestling, this is great. They, they, they're going to they learn some things the different hip movements, that, exactly yeah, yeah. right. Different ways to grab the hand, different ways that they can't, the guy won't be able to go one way or the other way. You have a little lock on, on them. You know, it's just like Mark Schultz got thrown out of the, almost got thrown out of the Olympics, had, had a bunch of different um, referees on him because. The Turk had a single leg on him, and he pretty much just commered him. He had a double wrist lock. They used to call it in the old school. I remember and that. just cranked his shoulder. That was here. Tore his shoulder out so bad. Like yeah. they, It was the craziest thing because the guy, it's either the leg or the shoulder. Hey, that's just the way it goes. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do? Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, you're the guy's a master at that. You know, it's like... <laughs> Keep going, guys. I'm just holding the thing now, but 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 he was cranking the thing, Mark Schultz, and he's a very strong guy, quick guy. <laughs> like, yeah. so it, it's crazy. But Couture went from being nothing, like a Greco-Roman guy who never made their Olympic team, I don't think, but a world team multiple times. Like he's done very well in wrestling, and and in America, we you know people will, will tell you, and I don't think so much anymore, but that. If you can't be a freestyle wrestler, you could be Greco wrestler. But then these Greco wrestlers became great fighters, like you say, Henderson, yeah, yeah, yeah. Couture. Then Couture became through Hanato, basically, and, and, and an actor, and and and, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and and he does like this is this is a story that nobody could ever believe ever. He was like the most just just, just the, the sweetest guy, like a hardworking guy who had his wife and kid up in Oregon, and all of a sudden he's in in Hollywood everywhere. Like it's, it's absurd, and he's beating people up in the cage. Like, what is what happened to this guy? He's in movies and stuff with with Sylvester Stallone and and, 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 and uh, whoever all those guys. I mean, it's crazy. All the best, all the best on uh, top action of, guys ever, on, and he's in there with these guys. <laughs> on top of that, Hollywood, you also had some experience. You did. Like, <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I fought in our time. I know. You, you did the <laughs> red belt. crap out of me. The, the red belt yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah they, they tie <laughs> your arm. You have only one arm. They hold you. Know. you they tie your arm. <laughs> I think they ran out to new the director or something. Say, hey, you got to tie his arm. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it was just like modeling for me because I did a bunch of commercials and stuff like I had to do some kind of stuff with mine. I couldn't believe, like, ah, just, I'm like, come on, man, please. <laughs> Let me do this. <laughs> I've got to do this. <laughs> is, there, is there any any of your fighters that give you more headache in terms of training and any of them that you just saw, man, that guy, he's going to take off. He's, he's really something. And if your guys that were under your guidance, 